Ready? Set. Yeah, set. No, not worried about it. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning. Welcome to Modena. We are here today for a real treat. Alongside me is Clint, world famous travel blogger. I'm sure you've heard of him to the stars. <laughs> and also our local food connection, Katarina. We are going to go taste some of this region's best Italian cuisine. What do we have? Aceto balsamico tradizionale, parmigiano reggiano, eh, tigella, tigella, gnocco fritto. Dai, andiamo, andiamo, andiamo. What any of that means, Dai. but we're gonna find out. This is eating in Modena. Let's go. Less than an hour's drive or about a 20 minute train ride from Bologna is a small Italian city that you've probably never heard of. But you do know its exports very well. Modena is the birthplace of Pavarotti, the origin of Ferrari, and the nucleus of Parmesan and balsamic vinegar. So when Taste Bologna asked Clint and I to stop our road trip and spend the day eating food in Modena, it was an offer we couldn't refuse. And it all begins with breakfast. Coffee is of course essential, and the most traditional sidekick here is a diamond-shaped dough called gnocco fritto. Buon appetito! Well, that's a big one. It's good. It's good. Yeah. Uh, not alcoholic. Not alcoholic. Oh, no, no alcoholic. No. Oh. It's not no. too sweet. Just a nice little piece of fried dough in the morning. But cappuccino is delicious. Good foam. This is a good start to the day. Charged up on carbs and caffeine, we venture over to my absolute favorite spot in any city, the Central Market. Colorful fruits and vegetables, fresh meat and fish, the chatter of people making deals, I just, I love it all. This market also has the added bonus of pre-prepared meals and the most incredible looking homemade pasta. Wow, that's delicious. But the main attraction, the main reason we are all here in the first place is the cheese. The stinky, beautiful cheese. And I have to sit down emotionally to try a few things. Oh. Look how different it is. So this is very clear, almost no crystals, and now we start to see the crystals around here, wow. which is always meaning like very good aging. And then look, the structure. Is it okay to say that's sexy? Here we are. One year old, two years old, three years old. More. 36 months, three years old. This one, uh, then I'm gonna tell you how to recognize the first, oh my God. first quality. You can see the rind, strong, all the dogs, chalky, uh, and, and then uh, second quality, almost sour, the rind, you can falling see apart. One as is delicious. One to the next one. So we taste the difference between three age varieties of Parmesan try Lambrusco jam with fresh ricotta cheese. Fried zucchini blossoms, which honestly don't have much flavor. So this is a kind of. You like that? What's it taste like? This is made with fried flour and an interesting local drink with cooked down lambrusco grapes and sparkling water. All the sugars inside, of course, because our region is very linked. Like a carbonated prune juice. Next up, the most prized possession in the region. Katarina takes us to a balsamic vinegar shop to have my mind blown. I had no idea the effort it takes to make traditional balsamic vinegar and the levels involved. Sure, there's the basic industrialized form which requires a minimum aging of only two months. That's what you have on your salads at Applebee's. But true traditional balsamic vinegar of Modena has two categories of aging. One for a minimum of 12 years, and for the second, a minimum of 25 years. Because of the time frame, it was originally born as a tradition, not a product to be sold. 
True Balsamic is only made with Trebbiano or Lambrusco grapes, and it develops flavors over time in different wooden casks, much like wine or whiskey. And I do my best to pretend that I truly understand the difference. At least 25 years old. Wow. At first you taste the sweetness and then the acidic portion hits you afterwards. It tastes a little more like maple syrup to me. 12 years old, a little more acidic, younger than the 24 year old ones. That's what she told me, I, I don't really know that. Oh, that's made out of cherry barrels. Much sweeter than the others. That would be great on a snow cone. Ciao. Grazie. Thank you. Moving on to something I do fully understand is a local sandwich called Crescentina. Served on a flat round bread or tigiala and filled with a variety of ingredients. Pork, cheese, and fruit spread. Oh. And this is? The wine of Modena, Lambrusco. Viva Lambrusco. Lambrusco. Oh, yeah. 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 Bollicina. Bollicina. Pork and Lambrusco. Can't beat it. Oh man. Really thin slices of pork on a whole grain little bun here. Wild cherries. And, and cacciata cheese. Cacciata cheese. What do you think? Love it. Which one's your favorite? Uh, this might be my favorite one. You like the cacciata? I like the cheese. All right. There's like parmesan. Rosemary, garlic, Rosemary. and of course, a grated parmigiano. Yes. Rosemary. I'm a big mama. <laughs> <laughs> Rosemary, garlic, lard. Parmesan all muddled together with a uh, muddler. Tigialla, 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 of course. Okay. Ah, wants to make tigialla in Toronto. Yes. And one last quintessential stop of the day. It wouldn't be a food tour without testing out the tasty treats this town has to offer. Spinach, ricotta, almonds. almonds, sugar, deliciousness. Man, that is good. That is this guy. And this is torta barazze, the original one. Oh, that's the original? Yes. Okay. Whoa. That is a thick, as she said, it is brick. as light as a brick. Yeah. That is <laughs> as rich as basketball. <laughs> That is dense, that is like fudge. That's not even brownie, that's fudge. Whoa! Almonds. Almonds again. Almonds, amaretti. Amaretti. And always sugar and flour. Sugar and sweet and everything nice. Don't try One more. One more. I love it, so. <laughs> Today's been just a peek into the food and life here in Modena. It's the first place that I've experienced in Italy outside of Rome, Florence, and Venice. And honestly, I choose this every time. I'm officially stuffed, falling behind the group now. But man, was that a good day. All hyped up on caffeine, sugar, and happiness. This, this is a beautiful town and delicious food. If you ever get a chance when you're in Italy, don't pass this place up. That's it. See you next time. Crescentina. Crescentina. Bravo. Torta di tagliatelle. No tava barba. Torta di tagliatelle. Tagliatelle. Torta di? Di? Tagliatelle. Tagliatelle. Torta di tagliatelle. Bravo. <laughs> Come mangi mangiare. 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 Cibo locale, cibo, cibo locale, cibo locale. Oh, okay. <laughs> no, 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 questa è la torta barozzi. No, Brownie, torta barozzi. 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 But like fudge. No, barozzi. <laughs>
And then, uh, no. well, there is another oh, cake. God. No, slowly. <laughs> 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 so, I, 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 I